I went ahead and did the same thing as usual. I did the black uh, prime, and then I did the zenithal, and then what I used was this uh, Militarum green over the top. I sprayed it over the top and left it kind of dark underneath, and then I came in, believe it or not, with some Green Stuff World uh, Hunter Green. And then I did a little mix of the Hunter Green and the Flubber Green to come up with this mid-mix. And then I came up with straight Flubber Green for the highlight. Looks pretty good. Works for now. Once I get some shade, some other highlights on there. And this will be a very light blue as well, the hologram there. to give the uh, hand a little bit of the OSL from the hologram or the holographic city so what I did is I just kind of lightly watered this down to give it a tint on the inside here hoping it'll work Alright, I think we got all of the, the gray work down um, for the joints and things like that. And that's just straight rubber. We used rubber. I mean, I love this. This is my favorite color for for everything. I mean, for anything metal, anything non-metal. Man, this stuff is trick. Leather, plastic, name it. Good stuff. Anyway, guys, we got it all in the corners. And now we'll go back and we'll do probably a mixture of the rubber and then the rubber highlight and then straight rubber highlight on these and then we'll get to the eyes and then the highlights of the hologram which will be white. All right, looking good so far. Doing a mixture of uh, rubber light and rubber rubber and rubber highlights sorry my bad just getting a, a quick little simple mid-tone in here not that I need it just doing it just make it pop that much more all right uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this all the way around you don't need to see all that you can barely see what I'm doing anyway um, but I will do this mid-tone highlight all the way around right turn them over get these, get all these, again stuff's going over the top of a lot of this but it's nice to have that mid-tone in there went ahead and did the rubber and rubber highlight mixture uh, all around him and, you know it's really tough to see but in person you can see like on little light corners and stuff where I did it on the joints here and there you can see it it, it, it looks good it's a nice little mid-tone whoops bumped the camera there now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kinda go in and just kinda get some of the maybe the higher areas kinda get some lines in there see it looks nice on his nose hard to see sorry Oops, I'm on camera. Doing that a lot lately. This is looking really nice. Just getting the edges really. Just the tops. Give them a little little highlight because we're going to do some gold etching in here so I'm staying away from all that oh, here we go yeah it's going to look nice once we get a little bit of wash in here alright 
I'm going to be off camera. Apologize. Uh, but he's looking good. That that uh, the gray highlight, you know, the rubber highlight's coming out really nice. So uh, now we will move on. That looks pretty good for now. I, I may do a couple little touch-ups with pure rubber, just pure rubber here and there, maybe. Let's see, I get off camera. It's tough. Now we got all the gray highlights down. Um, I just use rubber and rubber highlight as usual. Uh, got some nice areas in. Looks pretty good. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go and do that uh, that etching for the uh, scrolling on the chest and some of the the legs and in the, in the joints and I believe even on the shoulders up there we've got a little bit. Anyway, we got our work cut out for us. We're gonna that, that's some really delicate work and I've got a real fine brush. I'll get in there and. And knock that out real gently I'll take my time I it's gonna be tough to do on camera I'll, I'll try to do a little bit uh, of some of these but they're gonna be a little I want to get it right it's gonna be it's got to be precise anyway let's so get the trim, we're gonna start off with Averland sunset we're gonna we've got uh, he looks like he's got some glowing uh, things all over him like in here there's a little insignia here he's got he's got gold trim looks like glowing and gold trim I'm not sure I considered using gold uh, to do the trim but I think the yellow the Avalon sunset with the yellow will just give it a little more flare and then if I go over with a with a sepia wash it'll tone it down just a little bit so I think that's probably the route we're gonna go um, so let's uh, let's get started with this, this super fine brush Avalon Sunset and we're gonna start on the etching. Hey guys, like and subscribe. Really helps support the channel. Thanks. So what I had to do here is the face, I, I, let, I had it still green, but it calls for being gray so I can get some of this yellow or gold etching in there, if you can see it, and I'm getting a little close to the camera. But there's some gold etching right in here that I need to get. So we'll make this a little bit lighter, we'll etch that with the yellow, and then we will do orange in the eyes, and we will go from there, we'll do some highlighting. I will clean this up with a little bit of rubber in the middle and in the crevices just to get my lines back. Real simple stuff. Uh, just clean up and then I got a little bit more etching to do and once I get the face I've got to get a little bit in the little bit in the back and I'll do the same thing in the edges with the rubber I'll fill in those gaps and then I've got a little more etching to do here on the hands. Um, so there's quite a bit of etching on this guy if you want to do them you know more like the box so all right let's finish those etchings and then we'll get on to the eyes and then uh, we'll fill in the uh, the cracks with the rubber and then we will probably move on to highlighting the hologram and and we're getting real close we're getting real close all right let's do it Okay, I think I got the base for all the etching down now. Uh, that, that's that's some pretty meticulous work, and and you know mine's a little bit rough here and there, but I think I can straighten it up with some highlights and some wash um, that'll that'll kind of fill in some of the gaps and kind of straighten some of those lines out. But I did it here and there on some of the metal parts as well. He, he kind of has it all over. He's kind of gold. Got this gold etching everywhere. I didn't do go too crazy on the face because it's it's pretty tight in there, and I just want to keep this as simple as possible. Um, so, if you can see, I mean, whoop, you can see zoom into that face. You can see that etching gets gets a little intense. That's okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back with the regular yellow and do some highlights on some of just the little key areas, and then we're going to go back with a probably a sepia wash to clean those lines up, and then after that we're going to do the orange eyes. All right, let's do it.
not sure if I got, I think I might have got my hand in the way on that, darn it, sorry guys. Um, but I've got the three orange eyes in. I just watered down the, the Pro Krill orange real nice and I used a real fine brush and just kind of watered down, just dropped it in, sucked it right in there. Real simple guys. What we're going to do here is we're going to do a little bit of dry brushing with white on the hologram just straight down like this just to give it that little little pop that little glow I took a dry uh, a paper towel and I put a little dab on there and I dabbed my brush in it and got it nice and dry you can check it on my I mean see it just lightly comes off so now we're just gonna lightly do the tips of these here okay. Gonna go ahead and use some green uh, wash for 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 the scent for the in between. It just seems to really pop with that uh, that contrast or that yellow. I like it. Looks good. Real simple, real quick. Really watered down wash. Very watered down. Okay, very important. You don't want to stain anything. You gotta be pretty careful when you put that wash in there. But look at that. That looks really nice. I'm really happy with the way this is turning out. Real simple, guys. Uh, this guy, the only thing hard about him was the etching, really. Um, you know, that takes a little bit of time. And, and you don't even have to do that, really. I can, I could actually show a simpler way. It's just paint the whole thing yellow and just kind of do a wash to make that pop out. But I went ahead and did it the long way. And real, took my time and did it over the top and filled it in. Anyway, guys, this is looking really good. I, I'm really happy with the way this wash is turning out as well. Um, looking good. All right, let's see, uh, I've got to get the base on. Looks like we're pretty much there. A couple little touch-ups, I think, with the uh, rubber highlight, maybe. Maybe. Um, I, a little bit of work on the foot feet down there. There's some, I'd probably get some wash at least. Anyway, all right, let's do it. For Kalani, we're going to do um, a metal base rather than the, the dirt or the gravel like I normally do. Um, this one, uh, it's, it looks pretty good already. So we'll just put some metallic paint over this and we'll do some uh, some weathering, some rusting, some stuff like that. Just, just to give it a little bit of a worn look. I like to use the rust because it will contrast with the green and it will make it pop just a little bit more. So that's why we're going to do the rust. Plus it looks cool. Alright, let's do it. Well, there you have it, guys. Star Wars Shadowpoint Kalani, Command Droid, or or Tactical Droid, whatever you want to call him. Anyway, that, that green turned out terrific. Again, sorry I didn't get that on camera. Um, I don't know what happened, but it was just an airbrush. Real simple. I did a black prime, you know, uh, a white zenithal, and then I just did green over the top, and I did my mixture, my three-color mixture. R real simple, real simple, guys. Turned out terrific. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Again, guys, please like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel. I'm going to catch you next week.